Conditional probability case. In this particular case, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to um, use our conditional probability formula. Now, if you remember, our formula actually says that the probability of that is the intersection between these two divided by the probability x is greater than 0.1. Okay, so we need to make, make that into a more simpler version. So what we do is we, I always draw a number line for this. So I always identify where my point, so x must be greater than 0.5. If I make this number line x, and I locate 0.1 and 0.5, and I know that my x value has to be greater than 0.5, well then I'm going to draw this on my number line, open circle, because it's not including 0.5. Now x is also greater than 0.1. Okay, so two, num two lines here, and because I'm looking for the intersection, then I know the area that I'm interested in is where they intersect, which is from here onwards. Okay, so which means that this whole expression can be defined as probability of x being greater than 0.5 instead of all of this complicated stuff at the end. So we can eliminate that part. And this is the expression that we now are trying to find. Okay, so let, let us see what this actually means. First of all, we need to find the probability that x is greater than 0.5. So we need to find this probability now this probability here. But we already found that one. We found that to be 0.45. Okay, this entire region here was 0.45. So now, just by definition, the entire area underneath this graph is 1. And basically, to find that blue segment, you have to do one take away this, the unwanted area. So that means that we basically have a probability of 0.55. Okay? So now we know what the probability of this occurring is. And so we can replace that with 0.55. And we also need to figure out the area, um, the probability being greater than 0.1. So this means that our area of interest for the second bit is actually going to be from point 0.1 which is around about here, point 0.1 to 1 so we're trying to find this area underneath here okay, not that one anymore so basically we need to set up another integral to figure out the area from point 1 onwards. And we're going to find the integral of the line. So we are going to go integral of 0.2 plus 1.2x dx. And we know that the upper limit is 1, the lower limit is 0.1. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly solve that. Okay, so it's 0.2 plus 1.2x and between the upper limit of lower limit is 0.1, upper limit is 1. So I get an error, I get a probability of point, the answer to this should be 0.7. 0.774. Okay, so which means that this probability down here is 0 0.774. 0 0.774. And then finally, to get the answer to this, you just basically do 0 0.55 divided by 0 0.774, and you get an answer of 0 0.71. Okay? So, I hope that made sense to you. I hope that you now understand what a probability density function is, and I hope you more or less know how to solve a problem like this. Just keep on practicing and keep on going through your exercises, and I'm sure you'll find it 
uh, that you can improve in this massively. Okay, so I hope you guys have a great day and I hope to see you later. Bye.